just um, something. Could you mention your first name when you answer the question so we know after who did say something, you know? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I was just saying if it's possible to say your first name when you answer the questions because there's not that much video so we know after who answered the questions. Sure. Uh, my name is Mr. Dusselon. I come from Quebec as well. I've grown there, so I'm very pleased to see you here in France and uh, to ask you two questions. Um, so first of all, I, I wanted to know um, if you get as much support uh, from the Quebec institutions than from Canadian institutions because of your choice of singing in English or being part, let's say, of the Anglophone community. Uh, this is Dylan. Uh, we actually are, we get the most love and support from our Quebec audiences. Absolutely. Uh, institutions, I would say. Oh, Institute. institutions? Yeah. yeah, that would be, it's about half and half. We get a lot of factor and then... Uh, Your first name, please? Dylan. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you know Factor. Okay, it's a it's a grant service, and then uh, there's other stuff at Quebec. There's funding to bring your business abroad, and all kinds of little grants we get for for doing this in, uh, out of Quebec. So that's it. We'll have fun. And why stay in Montreal when we have the choice of going to Toronto, for instance? Oh, uh, well, this is our home now. Okay, no. we moved there, and people got more friends. So the market would be as good in Montreal as in Toronto. No, uh, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know about Toronto, but I don't really, I don't know if we really like Toronto, but we like Montreal, so we'll say that. Do you feel, do you feel like in your, I don't, if you have a question, you have a question, okay. Um, do you feel like, um, well, your mother tongue is all of you in English? Yeah. Okay, so that's not like a goal of French Canadians. Sometimes like the box, so I know a little bit in Canada one or uh say that very spectators who were um, trying to speak to sing in English and making a record in English and in French. Um, so you, do you have for instance on your side uh, not an a goal but uh, the idea of one day singing in French and making a record in French? Uh, this is definitely um, maybe maybe um, but uh, the music, is, uh, lyrically, it's kind of involuntary, so I can't really help what uh, what I'm writing. I mean, if it comes out French, it comes out French. But I probably do. <laughs> you feel more natural in, in English. Certainly. Okay. Considering that it's sweet French. Hello. Uh, I have a question for the student. Uh, I would like to know how do you feel about uh, playing the day after Armstrong, the Hive, and the so much energy to go into the festival uh, yesterday and so early in the afternoon also how do you feel about this um this is connor uh i mean every show you just go and you just give her <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no we, we, we just we uh we try to just uh you know put on the best show we can every time not really worry too much about uh various pressures or what time slot we get or anything um, maybe not necessarily healthy to think about those exterior things, just do the best you can. And you have some uh, bands you would like to see today uh, or tonight? Uh, we don't look at the lineup because uh, we have to leave. We just got here and we have to leave right away after. So it would only be a shame to look at it. But I'm sure there's a bunch of bands we want to see. I'm, I'm still, uh, as there is no question yet and I'm still continuing with the language stuff you know, as a Quebecer. Okay. Um, what is the reaction in Quebec? So I, I, live in, I live in Europe so I, I'm not that much uh, informed of uh, your problematic let's say like this in, in Quebec but I would like to know what is the, um, the reaction of the public uh, about the fact you're singing in, uh, in French uh, in Montreal and, and in maybe English. in, in maybe a sub question with this um, would you compare yourself not in the style of music but with the story of let's say singing in English like, and the problematic or the problems or the pleasure uh, with simple plan for instance but there would be comparisons because they are francophones at the origin so I'm also asking a question like this yeah? 
Uh, this is Connor. Um, honestly, the the language issue hasn't really come up internally for us very often. Like the uh, the, the Quebec uh, audiences have always been very receptive, regardless of what language we speak in. Uh, and I think that um, on a certain level, if your music has honesty and that kind of thing, it, it kind of, it can it can transcend the language barriers a little bit, hopefully. And that, that and like it, it just really hasn't mattered for us very much. That so hasn't been a huge issue in Quebec. And then let's go on the, the cultural aspect. You can talk as well, Mr. Ray. <laughs> so we can talk. It's a festival. <laughs> uh, so it, it's interesting also to, to, to see the way that you become a member of the, uh, an ambassador of the country of Canada. Okay? There's not that much uh, artists from Canada who, who tour around the world. We have some of them here, for instance, Nell Young, but there's not. That's that much Canadians. Uh, so, how do you feel about being an ambassador uh, of, of Canada or Quebec as the francophones from Quebec, for instance, to talk about a lot about Quebec when they come here? Francophones of Quebec, the artists, they, they talk about the Quebec culture. And what do you feel about this identity of being Quebecer but singing in English and coming in France? I, I really don't, I don't believe in that, and I don't believe I'm an ambassador to, to Canada or Quebec. I'm just, I, I just been there, and I like it there, but uh, I, I, I don't, yeah, I, those, those kind of things, those kind of titles only, only divide us. Okay. So I'm just, I'm asking you the question, just ask you the question. I'm just a citizen, no, I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm just a citizen of the world, I guess. During our last show at the American in Paris, the, all the, the audience sang with you the lyrics, all the lyrics of your songs. So how did you feel about that? I mean, it was quite kind, kind of surprising. Everyone knows before the album was out. Um, this is on. Yeah, that was uh, that was a, a very special moment for us. Uh, uh, we've been we've toured Europe a few times and. Uh, and it was just it was just one of those it, it was a benchmark for us when we, we we sold it out and everybody just they knew the songs and they, they showed us so much love and it was really it, it was phenomenal. We will always remember that show for sure. Um, yeah, there, there, there are so many bands from Canada that are so famous here. We're speaking about pets and animals, eight eight hours on the Canada. So um, how do you explain that French people love so much Canadian bands? I, I, I really, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, France is one of my, our favorite places to tour as well, so there, there must be some special kind of connection. Uh, there's, there's certainly a cultural connection, obviously, between Quebec and France. So Plants and Animals and uh, one of the other bands in the area are from Montreal, so there, there must be a French connection there. Thanks. Okay, and your album uh, is coming out in France just before uh, coming out in the USA a few days later. Do you think the American people will receive the album in the same way that French people will do? Okay. Yeah, Mrs. Connor, uh, it's, I, I hope so. <laughs> but uh, every. Like it's hard to be a, like a cultural analyst about these kind of things because we're always surprised at the response of the music. We didn't really like write it with any kind of expectations. Uh, so like yeah, I, I hope I hope so very much. America can be a difficult market because it's so enormous. And okay, we'll see. Uh, sorry, but I asked my question in French because my English is a terrible proximity. Uh, we have to talk about uh, Dark Eyes. Um, comment s'est créé justement le titre Dark Eyes? Est-ce que ça a un rapport avec, uh, Fire, avec le titre Fire Escape? Uh, C'est un, un parole de chanson de, de Fire Escape. Et, uh, on avait pensé de. C'est quoi? C'était très difficile pour nous de trouver un nom pour la voix quand on entend parce que. Uh, pas comme on dit. Pour, pour nous, il faut juste trouver quelque chose que tout le monde est très content. Avec tout le monde est très content et, et ça c'était juste euh, deux mots qui marchaient très bien avec nous et, et finalement on, on, on parlait pas trop de pourquoi c'était 
le, le bon nom pour l'album, mais on, on s'est décidé que c'est parfait. Et justement, est-ce que vous pouvez parler un peu de la pochette de l'album de Dark Eyes euh, la, la pochette La, la cover, la cover de... Oui, et par de quoi, à propos de la pochette euh, bah, L'histoire, l'histoire oui. de... Oh, ok, l'histoire en... Ça, c'était une... Une photoshoot qu'on a faite avec un, un, un photographe australien. Et on a juste. Euh, on était allé dans un, dans un, un champ de. Euh, de orchard, je ne sais pas si c'est quoi un orchard, avec euh, des arbres de, de pommes partout et des choses comme ça. Et euh, on, a comme, on a pris des, euh, des feux d'artifice, on a, on a pris de, de, de plein, de plein de choses pour jouer avec et puis on a construit un feu et, et on a juste. Euh, on a vu du, et puis, euh, et puis euh, le lendemain, on, on a pensé qu'est-ce qu qui s'est passé. <rire> mais euh, mais c'était beaucoup, c'était quelque chose. C'était quelque chose. Euh. Euh, sinon, comment ça se passe les cultures justement au sein du groupe euh, ouais. Comment ça a été créé euh, Les cultures autour de l'album Les cultures de l'album, c'était. Les cultures ont en fait la plus tard en, en groupe. Euh, on essaie de, 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 au début c'est plutôt la musique et puis on, on trouve des mélodies, on trouve toutes les, les parties instrumentales et puis euh, à la fin les, les, les paroles commencent à, à rentrer. J'ai une dernière question du coup, euh, comment ça s'est fait la rencontre avec euh, Marty Diamonds Ah pardon, je n'ai pas compris. Comment s'est fait la rencontre avec Marty Diamonds Avec Marty Diamonds. Oh, avec, avec Marty Diamonds. Euh... You can answer in English. Yeah, well, Marty Damon came to. Uh, well, before we signed with Glassnote, uh, Capitol Records was in. Well, we had a showcase for Capitol Records, Atlantic Records. <laughs> and uh, Marty Damon was there, so we shook hands and thank you. He's our agent. Okay, so last year was kind of very intense for you, everything. And uh, how did you summarize it in few words? Uh, you, you did it. Intense. Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Um, intense, uh, thrilling. I don't think I can sum it up in a few words, really, but uh, this is Isaac speaking. Uh, <laughs> basically, you know, we went, we were touring almost the whole time. We all miss our families and friends, but uh, we gained a lot of experiences and did some movies and stuff. And uh, honestly, I can't remember too much of it. It's a huge blur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>